Hi guys, I just finished another video on how to um, spawn objects and make them go on an angle. So this is working with your rotation angles and I hope it helps people out. Okay, so here we go. What I've got here, I've got a script. It's got a cube and this cube's got a script on it um, and you just press a and D and W and S and you can move around a bit. So that's not the important part of this uh, tutorial. What, what we're going to do is be looking at, and th this is where it is, it's um, key in and it adds a force and w once you go A, D, W or S, it'll add the force in that direction. But the important part is the blue game, a uh, blue box. Um, when we we're going to make that so we're going to make a public void or well, this method is going to create a box and this will spawn a blue box when we hit the space bar so what happens is is we go game object new box equals instantiate a blue box and that that's pretty simple and um that will just pick up that blue box and it will make one basically pretty easy but we want the blue box to substantiate where the red box was so it's new box dot transform dot position equals red box dot position because the red box is, a, is or the red transform is already a transform and if input get key down now the difference between down and get key is down will only activate one so every time I hit the spacebar it will only do a single uh, create a single box if I had get key it would spawn a lot of boxes until I let go of the spacebar and um, that's about it so let's go and see in unity what happens here Uh, hit play and oh well sorry I've got to make a, a blue box don't we so there's we just duplicated the red box and then we'll call it blue and we'll change the color from red to blue and we wanted to spawn behind the red box so we're gonna make it minus one in the order in the layer order it doesn't add it's all the same and just drop it into your prefabs folder and then go to your script where your spawning thing is and then you just put your blue box on there and away you go that's pretty much it. oh you delete it obviously from the scene um and that's pretty much where we're at and when we play and we can move and we hit the space bar and we've got blue boxes pretty easy pretty simple it's that's that's the easy bit um so add a subscribe dudes i really appreciate it but here we go um we're going to now add this box shaker script onto it this is where it all gets interesting and in this Every second, it's going to go from 45 to minus 45. And that's what the rotation of the, the red box will do. So when we hit play, it'll just turn. So that's a pretty simple script. It's that's not You don't need to know that. But we're looking at the spawning of the, the objects. And that they were just staying as they were getting spawned before. So... We want to change the new box rotation by going new box dot transform dot local rotation equals red transform dot local rotation. And that will now when we spawn blue boxes, they're going to be on the same rotation as the red box when we hit the space bar. And so that's pretty fun. Yeah. And that's what we get. So, and if we do it again, so we, we make you move on a different angle, 
I'll go down a little bit and to the left and we're still getting the same kind of result. So everything's spawning as we assumed, but we want to shoot them off on an angle in a direction. So you can see here that the Z's going from 45 through to minus 45 over and over. That was what that other script did. Um, so let's put here uh, debug.log and we'll print off the local rotation um, of the red transform at Z. And let's see what happens. I know what happens, but let, let's sh I'll show you where, where we're going to get some problems with shooting off on an angle. Um, that, you saw how fast that's spinning, so it's probably a little bit too fast for what we're what we want to do. So how about what instead of hitting the space bar, what we'll do we'll take off the box shaker script that was just rotating our box, and then we'll add forty five to um, Z, so it's permanently on forty five, and now we'll hit the space bar and we get 0 0.382 which is not 45 so what's happening why is this happening it's it's just that we're not getting the right rotation this is the local rotation doesn't show you the actual angle that the object is rotated to so to get the actual angle that the ro object is rotated to, we've got to go red transform dot rotation dot eugular angle dot z. Now this will should give us forty five, and if we hit play, now we've got forty five there, and we hit spacebar, and we've got forty five there. So now we're picking up the right rotation of our transform. So that, that, there's a difference there between our local rotation and rotation. Um, so let's go and see if we can shoot boxes off on a 45 degree angle from our um, red box. To do that, we're going to get our direction so we can add that add force to the blue object and that will shoot it off on an angle. So we've got the angle axis here, which wants a float, which is the angle, which was a transform dot rotation dot euclid angle dot z. Then we've got to get the vector three dot direction. We're going to have that as forward. That will give us the z axis. Now we've got to multiply it by the direction in general that we want to go. Now we want it to go right, which is kind of behind us. So we multiply it by vector three dot right. And that will put it back into a vector three format, plus add the direction that we, we want it to go. Now we can add the new box dot get component and rigid body 2d add force duh, which is the direction we just got times 100 now we're times it by so much compared to up here because it only gets called once not over and over so it needs to have its initial burst of force and that's why it's so high compared to the uh, movement so if we go to unity now I'm going to save this, um, go back to Unity, hit play, and we hit the space bar. We should hit, we should shoot off on 45 degree angle backwards, which is what we got. Um, if we wanted to shoot off forwards, then we just change the um, vector 3 now back to, we'll make that left. 
vector three dot left, um, and that will move us shoot forwards. And if we hit play and we hit the space bar, we'll go 45 degrees. This will make us in a forward direction. But we want I, I want to do the backwards direction, so that's what we're gonna do. Um we'll have to go back to the Visual Studios now. And you can also do an up and down direction too, just so you you know what's happening there. That's what I was trying to indicate. So we're going to go back to right. You could do up or you can go down, but I, I want to go right. So we'll leave it at right and we'll go and now we'll put our box shaker back onto our red uh, cube. We'll change these back to the duration of one 45 and minus 45 and then we hit play and shoot out some things coming out all directions behind it from 45 to 45 and here we go space bar space bar space bar and that's what's happening that's how we get it to to fire out as that okay guys that's a wrap for another video thanks for watching um, add a subscribe 